Hello everyone, this is Mike History 2 and welcome to the final episode of my series on the ancestors of Elizabeth II. So of course for those of you who are new, what this is is I am trying to figure out what Elizabeth II's ethnicity is and but in order to find this out of course I have looked up all of her ancestors on Wikipedia and this has taken me one year and 11 months to complete but I finally did it in the last nine episodes I've just been talking about some of the more famous of her ancestors but now we will finally get to the big reveal the big thing you've all been waiting for which is the specific um, you know percentage of each ethnicity um, for Elizabeth II and I have calculated this by looking at those of all our ancestors and then eventually, you know, narrowing, not narrowing it down, but, you know, putting it all together and getting it for Elizabeth. So, again, I explained this in the first video, but for anyone who might be new or just as a refresher, the entire reason I did this was because the channel Useful Charts, um, about two years ago at this point, uh, made a video talking talking basically about what if Elizabeth II took a DNA test and what would the results be. And I found this concept super fascinating, but what I found annoying is that he only went back 10 generations, which obviously, yes, 10 generations is a lot, but it's not going to give you the full picture. And so I decided instead to go back 51 generations because that is the furthest we can go back. And that will give us a much more accurate um, you know, representation. And so because of this, I am happy to finally announce that the results are going to be presented in this video based on all 51 generations and all of the ancestors, the hundreds and hundreds, maybe even over a thousand at this point uh, of ancestors that I found on Wikipedia. And so without further ado, Let's look at the results and let's see what Elizabeth II's DNA results would be and how much percent you'd be of each ethnicity. All right, so first, of course, before I finally reveal this to you, I, I know this is like two and a half minutes, still haven't revealed it, but let's look at useful charts, um, I guess, yeah, useful charts results based on him looking at looking back 10 generations so here it is so as you can see it says british and irish 47 percent germanic 43 percent hungarian six percent and french four percent now the problem isn't just that he went back 10 generations but also this is very vague british and irish that could mean a lot it could mean english irish scottish welsh uh, manx cornish this is like not very specific. I'm not saying like this is really bad, but I'm saying this is a little vague. And same with Germanic. Germanic could be German, could be Danish, could be Swedish, could be Norwegian. Um, so yeah, that's a little vague. Of course, then there's the Hungarian and there's the French. And so again, this isn't that bad. But let's finally compare this to what I've seen. The moment we've all been waiting for. And here it is. All right, so of course the first thing you'll notice is that it is very similar to my, well, to useful charts graph. Now obviously even just going back 10 gener generations can tell you a lot, and so obviously it is not that different. But as you can see, not only is it more specific, but the percentages are slightly different. And so now let's look at what Elizabeth II's DNA results would most likely tell her. All right, so again, all these percentages are rough estimates because we can't be 100% sure but I would say there is a 99% chance this would be um, accurate based on the fact that I looked at all of the ancestors that I could find on Wikipedia and it goes back 51 generations and so what do the results tell us well unlike what popular myth tells us Elizabeth II is not German or at least not majority or even a plurality German of course the highest one is English, which is 42%, and that, of course, is not that surprising, of course, based on the fact that, you know, she does rule over England. And, however, the thing about the Queen being German is, I mean, not that inaccurate. 
just barely behind is German at 38.5%. Now, of course, you can see that after English and German, the next largest ethnicity is Hungarian at 6%. And, of course, this correlates with uh, yeah, what Useful Chart said. Uh, he also puts Hungarian at 6%. Uh, I put it specifically at 6.25%. But the main point, though, is that Elizabeth II is about 6% Hungarian. But where does this come from? Well, if we look at her great-grandfather, Francis, Duke of Tech, he was about, well, he was half Hungarian uh, and half a bunch of other ethnicities, mainly German. But this guy's mother, Countess Claudine Rede von Kiesrede, I, I'm sure I'm pronouncing this very wrong, but... I, I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce it. Anyway, she was fully Hungarian. And so because Elizabeth II's great-great-grandmother, Countess Claudine, was fully Hungarian, that is where Elizabeth II gets her 6% Hungarian blood from. All right. Then, of course, not very far behind, at 5.25%, uh, we have French. And... Of course, like Elizabeth II has had so many French ancestors that's hard to, to say from which specific person, but she has French blood from both her mother and her father's side. And so it is not that surprising that she has some French blood. Then, after that, at 4.5%, you have Scottish. And so where does she get her Scottish blood from? Well, of course, being a British monarch, it's not that surprising in the first place. But basically all of her Scottish blood from her mother, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. But she also has a little bit of Scottish, just a tiny bit amount of Scottish blood from her father as well. And then after Scottish... Uh, the next largest is Polish at about 1%. And then when you get to under 1%, she is around 0.75% Dutch, 0.5% Italian, Lithuanian, and Russian, and about 0.25% Irish. Now, of course, as I said, these uh, percentages are never going to be exactly correct, and they are not only rounded out a little bit, but of course they can never be 100% accurate unless Elizabeth II actually takes her DNA test. But now that we've looked at the percentages of each ethnicity Elizabeth II has, it's important to see how did she get this specific amount. Because obviously you can see she is overwhelmingly uh, Germanic, with that being about half English and half German. So... To answer that question, where does Elizabeth II's English blood come from? Now, although you'd think that this comes from, you know, being her, the Queen of England, basically, and having had her ancestors rule in England for the past 12 centuries, the reality is basically almost all of Elizabeth's English blood comes from her mother, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. Uh, who was mostly English, and almost all the German blood in, yeah, her family comes from her father, George VI, who was over three quarters German. And so, in reality, basically, German blood in her comes from her father, and the English blood comes in her from her mother. So the idea that the British monarchs are German if we're talking about her father, George VI, that would definitely be true. He was overwhelmingly German. But because he married um, Elizabeth's mother, also called Elizabeth, that is where the English blood comes from. And so we can actually say that the largest ethnicity of Elizabeth II is indeed English. And then, of course, the Hungarian I mentioned, and the French, Scottish, Polish, Dutch, Italian, Lithuanian, Russian... And Irish, well, apart from the Irish, all those are from royal families that go back centuries. Although the Irish also comes, the tiny bit of Irish she has comes from her mother as well. And so anyways, uh, those are the results of the ethnicity of Elizabeth II. And if we're looking at broader macro groups, uh, like ethno-linguistic groups, of course, the largest 
by far is Germanic at 81.25%, and that is English and German, fit, followed by Finno Ugric, um, which is the Hungarian one, so that again is 6.25%, Italic, which is mostly French and a little bit of Italian, Celtic, which is the Scottish and Irish, that is 4.75%. Slavic at one and a half percent, that is the Russian and the Polish, and then the Baltic at 0 0.5 percent, and that is the Lithuanian. And so, as you can see, at least in terms of ethno linguistic groups, of course, Elizabeth II is overwhelmingly Germanic, but that is not a surprise. So, anyways, guys, that was a massive project. I hope you found it interesting, I hope you learned something new course if you haven't watched my previous videos um, go watch them especially if you're new because of course here I've explained the DNA and ethnicity of Elizabeth II but if you want to know who some of her most famous important ancestors were of course go check out those videos but I'm very proud to have finished you know this project it took two years and as you can see really it didn't change much from what useful charts said so yeah he was basically correct but I wanted to be a perfectionist and show, you know, as accurate of a result as possible. So in conclusion, after having done all this research, I think I have presented the most accurate and well-researched and thorough investigation of what Elizabeth II's DNA results would be in terms of ethnicity if she ever took that test now of course guys if you are interested and you have already watched all the videos which by the way you should have but if you haven't you can still go ahead and do it I am more than willing to share my research document where I wrote down every single one of her ancestors and every single one of their ethnicities including the percentage and I also included how many generations uh, removed they are from Elizabeth II. So it is a quite thorough and detailed list. So I will share that Google Doc in the description so that you can go check it out for yourself um, and, you know, maybe try Command F and try finding uh, an important ancestor um, because she has a lot of them. So you probably will find a lot of these famous uh, European monarchs somewhere in there um, and also I can share the Google sheet where I have the percentage and the charts for Elizabeth II specifically and the other Google chart uh, where I have the percentage and the charts of many of the famous ancestors all of all of the charts of course are shown in the different videos but if you want them all in one place go check that out so I will put a link to all three of those in the description so that you can look at my research uh, yourself now I am a, a little disappointed if I'm being honest at how few views this got I guess this doesn't interest that many people but for the few of you who did you know stick around and watch all the videos people such as the un unknown past I really appreciate it and I appreciate everyone who supported me um, you know in this project because this is definitely something I worked really hard on and something I'm proud of um, so anyways of course guys don't forget to like subscribe and share and I'll see you next time